No, Ciudad de México también. Eh, there, there's three service centers. There's Ciudad de México, Guadalajara, and Monterrey. Ah. Yes. And we currently have 17 superchargers, and by the end of this year, we should have 40 some. Wow. Wow. And you deliver how many? So they deliver two Model 3s in Guadalajara a day. A day. Uh, uh, about three Model S's a week, and one Model X a week, and, and no más en Guadalajara. Model, este, ¿cómo se llama? Monterrey is like double that. And uh, um, no, not Monterrey. Uh, ah, Ciudad de México is double that, and Monterrey is like a little bit more than Guadalajara. Uh, Even though Monterrey is less, is less people than Guadalajara, they're like more money. They have more money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's more affluent. So they, it's, it's always been that way. So they have more Teslas. No, I can keep it. No, I can keep it. In Soyalita, I, I placed uh, several uh, level 2 chargers. Bueno, bueno. My, I have a, a condo in, in Puerto Vallarta. In, uh, what's it called? Molino de Agua. That's by Playa de los Muertos. And I also have a charger there if you ever need it. Really? Yeah. Are you on... Uh, I, I cannot get my little... And my between, down there. No? between Guadalajara and and Vallarta este, there's a supercharger ah, supercharger yeah yeah they're they're out there actually they're you can out. drive from Guadalajara to Austin it's like a 17 or 16 supercharger stops uh -huh. yeah so look. now they're there it yeah. exists yeah look I should know this I'm Mexican but I know the Mexican side <laughs> it's fine I go visit. Do you have a yeah. card I I do the LinkedIn I don't do the paper oh, okay but I I can Look at that. Oh, look at all this is to Tucson. Chargers. This is just here. Those are all Mexican chargers. Superchargers. Superchargers. So Guadalajara, here the first one's Aguascalientes. And then this one here is the Matehuala. We built that one. Uh, Ramos Arispe, this one we didn't build. We built Aguascalientes and Matehuala. San Pedro wow. Garza. There we go. And then here, here, go, this one. Mexican people. This is already Laredo, Texas. By the end of this year, we should have the Nogales route, so you can go. So you can go this way. This okay. way, and we should also have the uh, the route all the way to Cancun. Wow! Look at that. But yeah. Now I'm gonna have to go. If I can take my Tesla, huh? I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. There's an. The only thing in, keeping me from going. In Baja, Mexico. there's in Ensenada, there's one supercharger, but okay, there's yeah. probably like, like almost a hundred level two chargers. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 on all the little wineries. I know, uh, yeah. you know that so, guy Benson? Yeah, I okay, saw his he's video. over there. Yes, yeah, I saw he's his been video. telling me, like, you want to go to Mexico? My, my company does uh, the level two for the Baja part, which is Jalisco, yeah, yeah, yeah. Colima, Nayarit, um, and, um, what's it called? Aguascalientes, San Luis Potosí, all the middle portion, and also our group does Mexico City and the southern part. The northern part is done by some people in Monterrey, they're called Green It, but we also know them. Okay. And they also do Baja and all those. When you get home, please yeah. send me something and so I can talk to you about it at our is it, club in, in, in Seattle, in Seattle, in yeah. Washington. Yes, yes, of okay. course. Of course, well, of course. That's awesome, man. I don't know what to do. There's Tesla. There's Tesla in Mexico. I didn't know. Oh, no, but I really enjoy your videos of all the the repurposing of uh, power products. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there, there's a lot of e-waste that comes from the U.S. to Mexico. Oh, I that see. It, but it's not reused in the way you use it. Which re reusing it is the best way. Yeah. It actually gets like crushed like crushed down. and like melted for the elements. Yeah. Which I feel is very very destructive. Because no, you don't you don't get a lot out of it than being like, oh, I'll reuse the cell. They go like, oh, I'll do something and crush it and, I don't know, do something else with it. Yeah, so uh, here in the States, we're, we actually send it all to China. Really? And we're disrupting that. We're trying yes. to keep yeah, all those they, batteries. They do containers full of, of e-waste, right? Yeah, they, batteries. Like, like all these batteries have been in China for decades. Until we came along. It's like they're buying their country back because, you know, for decades, they sold junk from China and made its way here. Well, they it's, like, it's like they're buying their, their, their raw materials back. Their raw materials. And they repackage them. Sometimes they don't even change them that much. They just, like, the cells, they just rewrap them, send them right back to us, and we pay again. Oh, really? Yes. So all the cheap 18650s, they're, they're reused. They're our own cells that we wow, used already. Wow. Ship them Who's the clever one? <laughs> It's like a new casing, a new body, there you a go. new BMS, and a new use case. Yeah, it's a new there product. There you go. But now I'm going to have to go to Mexico and visit you no, guys if down you there. Do, if you do, uh, contact me and anything you need AV charging related, I'll make it happen. Nice. We can take our Tesla to Mexico. We don't have if to. If you can't drive your Tesla, I'll give you mine. Oh, there you go. Now we have even have a Tesla in Mexico. <laughs> What did I give you that?